Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I've had kind of like a one-on-one -on -one chat with you guys and I just thought that today would be a good day to do that because I've been doing a lot of thinking and a lot of reflecting on a lot of things that I've been seeing lately on social media. Uh, I've seen a few bigger YouTube YouTubers post videos about like hate and hate comments and that kind of thing and I have not necessarily received that much. I definitely have received some, um, which was surprising to me. I don't know why because <laughs> I mean, today's day and age, when you put yourself on the internet and you put yourself out there, it's definitely to be expected. Uh, but I watched just a couple videos this morning that really opened up my eyes, and it all started with the video that Candy Johnson recently posted about hate. And then when I was looking through the comments, I saw a lot of people talking about this YouTuber that I wasn't even subscribed to at the time. And I think her name is like Chow Bella XO or something. And I saw uh, they were talking about her and how she receives so much hate, like more hate than they've seen many people receive online. So I decided to go check out her channel because I wanted to see why so many people were hating on her. And I realized like, I don't really understand why people are hating on her like she's so beautiful and she's so talented and she's so you know she's awesome and there's nothing to hate on you know so when i looked a little bit deeper into it i saw that a lot of people were giving her a hard time because she's recently gained some weight and that's what led me to wanting to film this video because i know from personal experience my entire life i've really struggled with my weight and most of the time, I mean, you guys can really only see me from here on up, so you don't really know what I look like, uh, my body. And I'm not saying that I'm by any means fat, or I mean, I would say maybe by the, the you know, this Canadian standard, I may be a little bit overweight, but I'm, I'm, just to give you an example, like I'm a size 10 or 12 in pants, so I'm not obese by any means. But I've definitely struggled with weight gain and weight loss my entire life. And... I'm sorry if this video is a little bit all over the place because I, I don't have any notes or I haven't written anything down so this is really just coming off the top of my head. But I just really wanted to express this because this is something that I've really truly been struggling with in the last I'd say like year and a half or two years. Uh, when I was younger I was always very confident. Um, everyone in my family is very... So I would say like my family in general is very... Um, not vain but they're like very focused on like physical appearance so ever since i was a young girl everyone in my family was constantly focusing on the way that i looked and it's the same with my sister and it's the same with my brother and if there's something physically um visually wrong with the way that i look like they will make it very clear to me um, as long as it's something that is uh, that you can do something about that's like fixable, right? I can even remember when I was in elementary school It was something that I thought about all the time was like how much I weighed and if, if I was too fat and like I'm a kid like who cares But this is something that really went through my head and it was a constant weight on my shoulders As I got older uh, It was something that I, I was aware of that I was a curvy girl but it didn't bother me. I, I felt positive about who I was. And I mean, everyone has their, every woman has their bad days, you know, but it was something that I, I thought about sometimes, but I was still pretty confident. And then at one point, I would say when I was at the age of like 19 or 20 years old, I uh, started going to the gym on a regular basis and eating extremely healthy. And it wasn't for physical reasons because when I was younger, around that age range, I, I suffered with severe. Uh, agoraphobia and anxiety disorder and this is something that I've never discussed with you guys either but it is what it is maybe one day I'll go more into depth about that uh, I've been in therapy for many years and I decided against medication I never wanted to take antidepressants or medication because I'm a very I'm the kind of person that I'm, I'm very strong-willed and I feel like I can get through anything without needing um, you know like mind-altering substances so I just I had spoken a lot with my therapist and she told me that one way that people get really healthy and they have more of a clear mindset is by a constant exercise and a proper healthy diet. So I started doing that not because I wanted to lose weight but because I wanted to be mentally more stable and in result of that I started losing a lot of weight and becoming really really fit. 
and that really motivated me to continue uh, on the same path and I really liked the results like I liked the results that I was seeing I really liked the way my body was looking and let's be honest I liked the attention that I was getting from other people I liked that everyone was telling me that I looked amazing and that I lost so much weight uh, I felt more comfortable in my body and um, yeah so that's you know that that really motivated me to keep going uh, then at one point I got into, uh, this is something else that you guys don't know about, but I got into a, a relationship with somebody. Um, it was my last relationship that ended maybe I would say like eight or nine months ago. And I got into a relationship with this person and it was a very, very, uh, unhealthy relationship. It was probably the most unhealthy relationship that I've ever had in my life. And Again, not going to get too deep into that, but the relationship was very largely focused around that person and their emotions. So because of that, all of I felt as though 100% of my energy and my time was constantly going to that person's emotional stability and trying to make them happy and trying to make them feel better. And in the process of doing that, I completely lost myself. I lost, I lost the importance of doing things to take care of myself. And I stopped doing the things that made me feel good and made me feel confident and happy. And one of those things was going to the gym. I started drinking, but not, I mean, I'm not by any means an alcoholic or anything, but I never used to drink before, not even like a sip of alcohol. So I started like going out with my friends again, maybe like once or twice a week and like drinking and I wasn't necessarily always eating the healthiest either. So I ended up gaining like between 20 and 30 pounds, which for me, like I'm five foot four. So that's a lot for me. And it was a really, really big struggle for me. Um, it was one of the hardest times of my life. I went from feeling amazing about myself, feeling confident, feeling good, to feeling like complete crap about myself. Like to the point that I was doing a lot of like um, mental kind of like self-harming, not physically or anything, but I mean, I was being so mean to myself. And that's something that I feel like a lot of women do this to themselves is I was being so, so mean to myself. I was like, I would see myself in the mirror at work. I would get like glimpses of myself in the mirror and I couldn't even look at myself. I was so disgusted with myself and the fact that I had let myself go so badly that just looking at myself or getting a glance of myself in the mirror would disgust me. Like I would, I would, I would basically like insult myself in my head and be like, like I would tell myself, ugh, you're disgusting. You're disgusting. Like, don't look like you. I can't even look at you. Like, and and this is like, the, this is like talk that I, this is like a conversation that I would have with myself in my head. So you can imagine that even though others never perceived me that way, like a lot of people told me that it didn't even look like I gained weight, but like because I was so hurtful and harmful to myself verbally in my head. I believed, like I truly believed that I was disgusting. Like I truly believed that I looked horrible and I started hating myself. And it led to like almost like a deep depression. And this is something that I've been going through for the past eight months and even longer when I was in my last relationship. So, I mean, I'm kind of like rambling on at this point, but just all that to say that in the past two months, I've really taken it upon myself to be nicer to myself. And I can honestly 100% tell you, like, I work in the beauty industry. I'm a makeup artist. My whole life revolves around beauty. It revolves around vanity. It revolves around constantly comparing yourself to other people and people coming and comparing themselves to other people and comparing themselves to you and the amount of times that people come into my store and they look at me and, and they're comparing themselves to me they even verbally say it out loud to me like I love your makeup or I love the way you look but I could never pull it off you're so beautiful like stuff like that don't ever compare yourself to somebody else don't ever do that because that is the worst thing you could ever do to yourself just be true to yourself look at yourself in the mirror Everybody is beautiful. All of you guys are beautiful in different ways. You know, like I can guarantee you that like Adriana Lima, 
or whoever you want to take for an example, like a supermodel or somebody that you think is the most, or Angelina Jolie or somebody that you think is the most beautiful woman in the world, I can guarantee you that there's at least 10 things that she could tell you that she hates about herself. Every woman has things about herself that she hates about herself, you know? And I can sit here and tell you my insecurities. Like everybody has insecurities. But at the end of the day, like I have done so much reflection in the past two months and so much like learning about myself. And I have to say, like, I've changed. I've changed as a woman, I've changed as a human being. And even though, yeah, it was disappointing to me that I gained so much weight, I feel it, I felt like it was necessary for that to happen to me because a lot of my self-confidence and my self-esteem like revolved around the fact that I, of like me looking good, you know? And, and I think that this past two months have woken me up to realizing that there's not, there's so much more beyond just my appearance. And like, not to say that I'm, I think I'm ugly by any means, but I have so much more to give than just the way I look. I'm educated, I'm smart, I'm motivated, I'm hardworking. Like, you know, I'm, I think that I'm pretty funny. I am very sociable and extroverted and I'm a lovable person. And I don't care if anybody watching this video thinks that I'm tooting my own horn because you know what? I am. I'm deserving of everything amazing that I have in my life. I'm going to get emotional now, but I am deserving of everything amazing that I have in my life. And I'm deserving of everything amazing that I will achieve and I will receive in my future. And so are all of you. And I just want to say that because this poor girl, when I saw her video this morning of her crying because she'd gained weight, it broke my heart because I knew exactly how she was feeling. You know, whatever the reason may be, like she was saying that it was because she had been on taking, she had taken some medication that made her lose weight. I mean, gain weight. For me, it wasn't that. For me, it was more like an emotional problem that I that had happened to me. Like I've always struggled, like I said, my whole life with weight gain and weight loss. And my weight gain was an emotional struggle that I had gone through. But at the end of the day, the fact that I gained 25 pounds does not define who I am as a person. It doesn't make me Alex that gained 25 pounds. I'm still Alex and I'm still me and I'm still great and I'm still everything that everyone loves about me and everything that everyone hates about me. I'm still all those things and just because I gained 25 pounds doesn't change that. And I feel like us as women, like we need to support each other. Like we need to stop being so negative and hard on each other, you know? And like I get so many like not so many like one of, one of the reasons why I find it difficult making YouTube videos is because like people are there and they're just like watching you and they're looking at you and they're like judging you right and like I mean I don't really give a shit what other people say about me but like you know people are always commenting about like my hair and that it's like messy and they're commenting about my voice and how it's annoying then I had like one person a couple months ago that was like literally harassing me and like going through all of my Instagram pictures and like writing like disgusting comments as well as like then they somehow found my YouTube and started doing that on my YouTube videos. Like I don't give a shit, but at the end of the day, like why? You know, I know you're just a troll, whoever these people are, like, but why do you care that my hair is messy? Like why do you care, you know? Like like focus on yourself and your own problems in life. Anyway, what I was trying to say is that as women, we should often be supportive of our of each other. Like stop with the jealousy, stop with the hate, stop with the negativity. If if you're not gonna give love and positivity, don't give anything. And if you feel yourself, like, I feel like a lot of the times, like, jealousy and, and envy is natural, you know? Like, you look at somebody that has what you want and you feel jealous of them or you feel envious, but at the end of the day, like I said, like that person worked so hard to get where they're at and like you can do it too. You are capable of doing just as much as anybody else in this world. And if you want something hard enough and bad enough, like you've got to work for it and, and sitting there and like feeling sad and feeling sorry for yourself and being jealous of somebody else that has what you want is not going to get you anywhere in life. I guess the point of me making this video is to let you guys know that I've had an extremely difficult year. 
and the new year is starting soon like we're in December so January is coming and I mean you don't need a new year to be a better you but at the end of the day like in a way it marks a fresh start and I'm excited I'm excited for the positive changes that I've made in myself in the past two months and I want you guys to be excited too and I want you guys to feel good about yourself and to be supportive of each other and to be supportive and grateful of the people that you have in your life that are there for you and that love you and that you love. And I think that that's my point. And my point is as well is that if you've had a, a rough year like I have or, or, or like a rough couple of years or a rough month, like don't worry because Sometimes that's what life is about and you're gonna get out of it like things are gonna get better Even though you might sit there in the moment and think like damn like this sucks Like I don't f you know like and you start you, you get anxious and you start feeling stressed out like Think about today Think about who you are today Enjoy the moment enjoy today and work at bigger better stronger things for your future and That's all I have to say so I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.